In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving for a variable in terms of other variables in a rational equation, problem type three. We're asked to solve in this equation for X. And the first thing we notice is that our X is in the denominator, but as in other examples, when we have an equation with these fractions and denominators, if we identify the lowest common denominator, and multiply through by that lowest common denominator, we can eliminate all of those fractions. So looking at each of these denominators, our lowest common denominator would have to have a Z, an X, and a Y. So we will be multiplying each term on the left by Z, X, and Y, and also each term on the right by z, x, and y. And the effect will be that these denominators will cancel. So I would have a 3xy on the left, and then this x cancels, giving me a 4z and y. And then the y cancels, leaving me with a 7z and x. And from here, solving for x, I no longer have any fractions, but I do have two x terms, one on the left, one on the right. I'll need to move those to the same side to solve for x. So I will subtract the 7zx over to the left-hand side, giving me the 3xy minus 7 zx on the left. On the right hand side, I now have just the 4 zy. And from here, to solve for x, I can factor out an x from the left hand side, and I would be left with a 3y in the first term and a minus 7z in the second term. Now that I have a single x, to solve for that x, I would want to divide both sides of this equation by 3y minus 7z to cancel on the left, giving me just the x. So we've isolated it by itself, and we have 4zy over 3y minus 7z on the right-hand side. We've solved for x.